So the fifth and final element of five ways of well-being is keep learning. Um, learning is an ongoing process and it can be really rewarding because it gives you the chance to enhance your skills and it improves social interaction between people. Um, so there's lots of different services out there. We've obviously pointed you towards a few and we will do towards the end of the day as well. But there's just a few like Princess Trust and Futureversity, which have loads to offer to develop your skills. So make sure you go and have a look and use this opportunity to keep learning. Over the week, we looked at the other ways to well-being, like taking notice of things around you to be more present, being active in your body and your mind, and connecting and giving to other people. Thank you very much for taking part in the week. We hope you've enjoyed it. We hope you've learned some new ways to look after your well-being and thought of some of your own ideas too. And thank you very much to anyone that took part in our logo competition. We'll be announcing the winner today, so keep an eye out. Next week, on the 10th of October, it's World Mental Health Day. So World Mental Health Day was first observed on the 10th of October in 1992. And since 1996, there's been a theme for services to focus on for that day. So many services will use the day as a way to promote awareness of mental health and how their service can help support individuals with their mental health. Uh, so this year, the theme will mainly be around the COVID-19 pandemic and how we can learn from it help ourselves adapt to the changes that have come with it and this is the perfect chance to keep learning so keep an eye out for different things that may be going on that day. Thanks again for taking part in the week and don't forget to continue following us on social media as we regularly post different ways to support you with your mental health and well-being. Thanks.